Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be doing a couple of things. First things first, we are going to be setting up the project that we are going to be using throughout this series to work with the various animations, set up characters and those kind of elements. What we're also going to be doing is showing you how you can download a bunch of pre-made animations that we can work with and then lastly we are also going to take a moment to talk about exactly what we're going to be learning throughout this series. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet just to a couple of minutes and get the important bits done. Now one thing that I do want to mention before we go any further with this series is that Unreal Engine 4 is not something that can be used to make animations in themselves. If you want to make an animation, that's something that you've got to do inside of a third party package such as Maya or Blender or something that has the facility to make uh, animations. Now what Unreal Engine is, is a game engine and being a game engine it can bring those animations together and in there you can make animation blueprints and blend spaces to bring the animations together in a way that a player is going to be able to work with them. So if it's a character for example, you are going to be able to tell the engine when to play different animations, how to blend them together and that kind of stuff and that is exactly what we're going to be focusing on as part of this series and we're going to be learning the different methods and techniques to bring all of this together. So. Moving on from here, what we need to do then is create a project that we can work with throughout this series. So just open up the latest version of your engine and we need to make a new project. Now for me, I'm currently using um, Unreal Engine 4.19. If you've got something newer, that will work too. And if you've got something older, that will also work. Just go and make a new project with the type third person. Now the reason why I'm using the third person template is simply because then I can have a better look at my animation sort of from an outside perspective. Now with the um, sort of target platform, the quality and so on, just leave it to desktop and mobile at maximum quality and with starter content and just give it the name anything you want. For me, I'm going to give this the name animation series and then just press create project. Now, when it comes to Unreal Engine, you don't really get many pre-made animations in there. And that's where the Animation Starter Pack is going to come in. Now, the Animation Starter Pack is essentially a bunch of extra animations that you can use with your default character. They are completely free and made by Epic Games, and you can simply download it in the Epic Games Marketplace and just add it to your project. And these are going to be the animations that we are going to be showing you how to use throughout this series so you will need to download this. If you want to get that just go to the marketplace in your Epic Games launcher on the left hand side and then from there just go to the top right hand corner and search content and simply type in animation starter pack. Give it a couple of seconds to load up and it's this one here that you want the animation starter pack by Epic Games. And then what you're going to do is just add this to your account and then just add it to the project for the animation series and just like that you should be good to go. So once your project has actually loaded up, what you should have is if you go ahead and show the sources panel in your content browser, this little icon in the bottom left here, you should have a folder for the animation starter pack and from here you should have loads and loads of animations that you can use um, such as crouching, um, some death animations, some stuff with some rifles and so on. But what we've done here is given ourselves a bunch of animations to work with and what we're going to be doing over the rest of this series now then is sort of opening these up. Uh, bringing them together as part of blend spaces, animation blueprints, and all of that good stuff. So you can form characters and all these other elements that you're going to need to animate. Anyway guys, I'm going to end off the video here. Make sure you do head to the next video where we talk about this animation interface a little bit more. But for now guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.